Remember Daddy05? I'm sure all of you do. He is the asshole who abused his kids for views and money, and eventually people caught on to what he was doing, and then they released two apologies, one was deleted, and one is the only remaining video on his channel, and they've been pretty silent since for about a little over two months now. But now, they decided to make a comeback, not on the regular main Daddy05 channel, but on a side channel called Mommy05. And I was so surprised to see how many people still support these fucks. How many people are still delusional and blind to the fact that they abuse their kids for views. I mean, here's some comments I found on, uh, on the first video, the video uh, Ma Mommy05 made, um, after the big silence. Here are some of them. We love you guys so much. Please post more videos. Glad you're back. I love Team DO5. You guys need to focus on your kids and start vlogging, so this is awesome. Let's start this family back again. Millions of hearts. Team DO5 for life! Glad you're back. Missed you guys. I know you guys been through a lot. You guys are so nice and kind-hearted. Love y'all. I taste some vomit in my mouth right now. Mommy05, it does not matter what type of family you are. You're a normal family. There is no possibly way a family can have a trait in them because they're normal. Heart. Better you focus on the kids because it's the best way and not get heated on by social media. And also, with Daddy05, he will come back to normal from, when, from all the support he gets from his real fans. Team DO5! Hashtag Team Daddy05. Let's give these guys a second chance. Mommy05, Daddy05, welcome home. OMG, like if you cry. I missed you guys so much. Hashtag Team DO5. OMG, I'm excited. I love you guys. Don't make fun of Mommy05. She already had enough in her life. I support you no matter what. This one probably angers me the most. Guys, come on, stop hating on Daddy05 and Mommy05. Everyone makes mistakes, and people eventually see their mistakes. Tell me, I'm perfect, and I've never made a mistake. That's a lie. I've made mistakes and saw through my faults. Parts in life can be blinding to one, but past, uh, that is where they see through the blindness. I hope whoever sees this comment has a wonderful day and has great luck in their future. I hope you fucking die in a fire. Yeah, I'm done reading these comments. My brain cannot handle any more of them. The fact that people are still supporting these guys really makes me concerned. It really does. I mean, after all of that, after all the shady shit that has been exposed and stuff like that, there are still people out there who still support Daddy05 and Mommy05 and want to continue to see more of what they did, abusing their kids for views. <laughs> And it's all just a mistake, apparently. Accidentally stepping on your kid's big toe is a mistake. So throwing them headfirst to a bookcase, telling them to smack their sister, and making them feel miserable and pushing them pa uh, past their limits just for the sake of views, just for the sake of money, is not a mistake. If you do shit like that, you're an awful, awful person. Not only, not only to me, but by millions of people. I don't care. I don't care what you Daddy05 fans say. There is nothing zilch you can say to me that will convince me to, to see the light, quote-unquote, or give these people another chance. Because Mike Martin and Heather, whatever fuck her last name is, are unfit to raise kids. And their videos show that. The fact that they had Cody and Emma taken away from them and returned to their biological mother is proof that they're unfit to raise kids. They don't just take kids away from people out of uh, for nothing at all. Rose, the biological mother of Cody and Emma, can't just say, oh, I don't like how they're raising, raising my kids. Um, take them away. No, she needed evidence, and I guess these videos were evidence enough because they got their kids take, uh, they got two of the kids taken away. And it might also have to do with the fact that Mike Martin, the father, was charged with domestic violence. I mean, I'm just so tired of stupid fucking people, like the ones I showed earlier in this video, defending people like this. Saying they're good people, and they're, and they're good parents and shit like that. 
I mean, I'm sorry. If you think if you think they're good parents after all the shit that's been dug uh, dug up and all the shit that's been said and after seeing all those horrible horrible videos of the kids screaming, crying, you know, getting abused, pretty much, you're dumb. I mean, I have no other. I don't have any nice way to put this. You are stupid for supporting Daddy O Five after all of this. And I know people are, uh, People probably say to me, oh, but they're entitled to, to their own opinion, and I'm entitled to my own opinion too, and I think they are morons. And the three videos they put up so far on their Mommy05 channel have pretty good light to dislike ratios. Check it out. I mean, just because the, the Daddy05 controversy is not the big YouTube drama anymore, doesn't mean that people should just forget about it and just give these people a pass. No. Because child abusers like these two fucks should not be on YouTube. And I know, that's probably surprising coming from me because I've always preached about how anyone should be able to upload videos on YouTube. Anyone, no matter how controversial their videos may be, they should be allowed on YouTube. But when people are actually abusing their kids and are doing it for views and for monetary gain, I think you should, I think YouTube should kick them off the site. I I honestly do because when I say uh, that people should be allowed to post the videos they want, usually I mean you know opinionated videos or controversial opinions or whatever. But when it's stuff like this, no, I think it should be taken off YouTube. And the fact that YouTube did little to nothing about it really goes to show how fucking stupid the people are at YouTube. Oh, this person has a controversial opinion. Silence them. Oh, this guy and uh, and woman are abusing their kids. Ah, eh, whatever. We'll give them a pass. I mean, isn't that fucked up? It, it, it really is. And this also goes to show that a lot of people only care about a topic when it's popular, even when it's something important like child abuse. This goes far beyond simple YouTube drama. Most people, when they heard Daddy05 is back, they're probably like, oh, Daddy05, that's an old topic. No one cares anymore. <sighs> the guy is a child abuser. You should not turn a blind eye to it, even when the topic isn't popular and trendy anymore. You fucking moron. What a world we live in, right? We live in a world where some people either A, defend child abusers and try to convince people that they're good, that they're good and wholesome, or B, just turn a blind eye to it and not care when it's, a, when it's not a trendy topic anymore. And people wonder why I don't have that much faith in humanity anymore. People wonder why I'm not a big fan of people. Anyway, enough ranting for the day. It's 4th of July at the time of recording this. And people in my neighborhood are going to be lighting fireworks, and I'm going to go out and watch that. Because, well, it's fun, and it's good to get my mind off the negativity and all the bullshit in the world and stuff like that. So anyways, hope your 4th of July went well, and if you don't celebrate 4th of July, well, I hope you had a wonderful day, I guess. And for any Daddy05 fan that might be watching this, I hope you get beaten to death with a shovel one day. Anyway, that's all I have to say. Bye-bye.